Assalamualaikum and hi. For this SCL group presentation, our group will be presenting topic 12, Fungi Evolution and Diversity, which is Diversity of Fungi. The 3D model that our group will be presenting is a Microsporidia. Microsporidia are a group of spore-forming unicellular parasites, never when considered protozoans or protists, but are now known to be fungi or a sister group to fungi. They have recently been discovered to infect coleoptera on a large scale in the 2000 coronal study. People often ask, what disease does this Microsporidia cause? Microsporidia disease can cause intestinal lung, kidney, brain, sinus, muscle, or eye disease intestinal system that are caused by microsporidia infection include chronic diarrhea, mal malabsorption, and gallbladder disease. Now, let's take a closer look at this microsporidia model. That is the nucleus, the posterior vacuole, the polar filament, anchoring this as a spore called polar filament and the lamella polaroplas. So I'll begin this presentation by explaining the background history of who classified fungi into separate groups from protists, plants, animals, and photosynthetic organism. So the person is R.H. Whitaker, who is an American plant ecologist. Accordingly, his reasoning was that fungi are the only type of multicellular organism that is saprotrophic. Currently, fungi are thought to be the closest multicellular relative of animals, and this is because fungi and animals are classified under the same supergroup, Opistoconta. Also, phylogenetic relationships among fungi have been the cause of much debate, and this understanding of fungal phylogeny is going through many revisions based on molecular sequence data. There are seven fungi phyla that we are going to learn in the syllabus. So let's move on to the first fungi phylum, which is Blastocladiomycota. These Blastocladiomycetes, also known as Blastoclads, are found in terrestrial or aquatic environment. All members produce asexual zoospores, and some species also exhibit an alternation of generation life cycles similar to plant. Many blastoclasts are parasites of plants, invertebrates, and algae. For example, Physodoma mydis. Physodoma mydis is a plant pathogen that causes brown spot and stalk rot on corn. Another example is spore producing structure called sporangia. Sporangia remain dormant in the soil and are wind dispersed onto the leaf of a corn plant. If a plant gets wet, the sporangia produce zoospores that swim and infect the young tissues of developing plants. The second fungal phylum is Neocalimastigomycota. These Neocalimastigomycetes, like mitochondria, are anaerobic and live exclusively in the guts of ruminants and other herbivores. Ruminants like sheep and cows and non-mammalian herbivores like some lizard depend on this fungi to asymmetrically break down cellulose and lignin. Without this fungi, this animal will not be able to obtain sufficient nutrition and calories from their plant-based diets. In addition, due to the anaerobic growth of these fungi and their abilities to degrade cellulose at relatively high temperature, they have potential uses in biotechnology for biofuel production. Next is Chytridiomycota. These chytrids include the simplest fungi which may resemble the first fungi to have evolved. Some chytrids are single cells while others from branch accepted hyphae. Most of these fungi phylum reproduce asexually through production of zoospores. Chytrids also play a role in decay and digestion of dead aquatic organisms, but some are parasites of living plants, animals, and protists. An example of this is parasitic chytrid Betrachochytrium dendrobatidis can cause a fungal infection in frogs by burrowing under their skin, and it has recently devastated population of harlequin frogs killing off two-thirds of them in Central and South America. The fourth fungi phylum is Zycomycota. This phylum Zycomycota is not monophyletic and many of the relationships within this group have yet to be resolved. Zycospore fungi live off plants and animals, remains in the soil or in bakery goods in the pantry. Some are parasites of soil protists, worms and insects such as the housefly. The black brick mold, Rhizopus stolonifer, is a common example of this phylum. 
Next fungal phylum is Ascomycota, which is also known as sac fungi. This phylum includes 64,000 species and can reproduce both asexually and sexually, but multicellular moles and single cell yeast are the most common morphological types. Ascomycetes play an essential ecological role in recycling by digesting materials that do not easily decompose, such as cellulose, lignin, and collagen. Furthermore, members of this phylum also have an important economic role. For instance, some species, mainly yeast, are used to produce foods while others cause food spoilage and can produce toxin. Morals and truffles are also used in garment delicacies that are revered throughout the world. With so many uses of Ascomycota, it can clearly be proven that fungi not only cause harm to us, but can also give benefits. Now, let's move on to the next fungi phylum, which is Basidiomycota. This phylum, Basidiomycota, or club fungi, consists of over 31,000 species, including mushroom, toadstools, puffball, chef fungi, jelly fungi, bird's nest fungi, and sting horns. It can also cause plant disease, such as smuts and rust. For your information, approximately 75 species of Basidiomycetes are considered poisonous. And the last one is Glomericota, which is also known as AM fungi, stand for albuscular mycorrhizal. These AM fungi are a relatively small group of about 230 species. One of the sites called arbusculus are the branching invagination that the fungus makes when it invades plant roots. Mycorrhizae are also a materialistic association of plants and fungi, and this can be illustrated when they play a critical role in the ability of plants to absorb nutrients with their roots. Next, I will explain to you about the life cycle of fungi. You have already knew there are many types of fungi, but did you know how they are reproduced? Fungi can reproduce both sexually and asexually. They reproduce by producing spores. There are many types of spores. One of them is zoospores. Zoospore is an asexual spores that have a flagella. Just like in this video, the flagella can help them swim in the moist soil and aquatic environment. There are three phyla of true fungi with the zoospore, which are Blastocladiomycota, Neocalimastigomycota, and Chytridiomycota. There are also an other fungi that produce their own spore, such as Zygomycota produce zygospore, Ascomycota produce ascospore, and Basidiomycota produce basidiospore. Let's take a look at each one of them. First, I will explain to you about the life cycle of Zygomycota. One of the examples of this phylum is Rhizopostolonifer, the black mold that occurs on the surface of the bread. Rhizopus exhibit three kinds of specialized hyphae, which are stolons, rhizoids, and sporagiophores. Sporagiophores is an area hyphae that bear sporagia. Rhizoid is the hyphae that grew into the braid and anchor the mycelium and also carry out digestions. Stolons is the horizontal hyphae that exists on the surface of the braid. The accessory productions occur in the sporagium. Sporagium will produce the haploid spore called sporagiospores. The sexual reproductions of the zygomycota will produce a diploid spore called zygospore. It will begin when the two mating types of hyphae, which are plus and minus, attract chemically to one another. And then it will grow towards each other until it touch. The ends of the touching hyphae will swell as the nuclei enter the tips of the hyphae. It then will produce an acylated capsule called gematogeum. The gematogea of each hypha will merge and the nuclei will fuse to produce diploid zygote called zygospores. A zygospores will undergo a period of dormancy before a new haploid sporagiospore produce. A sporagiospore will produce during the meiosis and it will disperse by the wind and germinate to form a new mycelia. Second, let's explore the ascomycetes reproductions. Most of the fungi in the ascomycota phylum will form a cell like structure called ascus that contain the haploid ascospores. 
This picture shows the ascus and ascospore of Sodaria fumicola. Sexual reproduction occurs in the fruiting body called ascoscarps. The asci is surrounded and protected by the ascoscarps. Two nuclei will fuse and it will form a diploid cell. A diploid cell will undergo meiosis to form a haploid cell called ascospores. The ascospore then release and disperse by the wind and it will germinate and produce new mycelia. Asexual reproduction is also common among these fungi. For example, yeast reproduce by asexual budding. Small cell will form and pinch out when it reach full size. Other than that, mold tend to produce a spore called canidiospores and it will disperse by the winds and germinate. Lastly, I will explain about the basidiomycete life cycle. The basidiomyces body is a mycelium composed of septic hyphae. The cycle begins when haploid hyphae of opposite mating meet and fuse. It's resulting in decarotid myceliums, and the myceliums will produce the mushrooms. The mushroom then develops into the matured mushrooms, and the basidia is formed on the gills of the mushrooms. The basidia located within the fruiting body called basidioscarps or mushrooms. Then, the nuclear fusion will take place and it resulting in diploid nucleus. And then, the diploid nucleus will undergo meiosis to produce the haploid nucleus, now known as basidiospores. The basidiospore then release and the germinations of the spore in resulting in haploid hyphae and the cytoplasmic fusions will take place and resulting decarotic mycelium and the cycle will begin again. That's all from me. Thank you very much. Now, I would like to talk about one benefit and one disadvantage of human fungi interaction. One of the benefit is fungi is used for medicinal purpose. For example, sac fungi is used in medicine because it has antibiotics and antimicrobial properties. Fungi will produce antibiotics to kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria, limiting their competition in their natural environment. Penicillin is one of the antibiotics that was isolated from fungi to treat bacterial infection. Other antibiotics such as cyclosporine is used to control our immune system to prevent organ rejection after transplant. For example, who receive a liver, kidney, or others. Other medication is used to allow the new organ to function normally. Did you guys know that mushroom act as anti-tumor agent? For example, Cordyceps militaris is used to treat cancer patients. The anti-cancer substance, which is calvacin, was isolated from the giant puffball. It was found effective to treat tumor like leukemia. Now, let's move to the disadvantage of human-fungi interaction. Yeast can also be harmful to our body. Candida albicans is the yeast that normally found in our body. Patients with AIDS or immunocompromised conditions such as cancer, malnutrition, and certain genetic disorder are particularly susceptible to the fungal infection. Fungal infection can affect anyone and appear on the several parts of the body. For example, a job with ethnic foods, a baby with trash, and also a woman with a vaginal infection. Now, I would like to talk about what is Aspergillus and how it can affect humans. Aspergillus is a species of mold that are some harmless and the other some types can cause disease to human. Aspergillus can cause aspergillosis which is fungal infection. Aspergillus is contagious and cannot be passed from one person to another person. Majority people develop this infection through breathing in mold spore or through cut or opening wounds. Allergic bronchopulmonary is a disease that can cause to the person that has asthma and also cystic fibrosis. 
genetics play an important role of the development of the aspergillus and this is a rare disease. So, for diagnosis, we have to do a clinical test. A sample of affected tissue will be taken to see the presence of the mold. The fluid of respiratory system or cough up from the lung can be taken to see the lung infection. So, this is a picture of the lung infection. Now, let's move to the summary. Fungi. Fungi is a multicellular saprotrophic and also the example of fungi is yeast, mold, of ball. And fungi has its advantage and disadvantage. And lastly, we learn six major fungal lineage. So, I think that's all from us. Do you guys know what is black fungus epidemic? Black fungus or what we call mycomycosis is from order mucorals. It's a rare infection that can cause death, yet it is surging in the COVID-19 pandemic. Aspergillus and Candida has been reported as the main fungal pathogens for co-infection in people with COVID-19. COVID-19 is not a mycomycosis disease, but COVID-19 patients are more prone to this black fungus disease. If the fungal infection can enter our lung, then it can be very dangerous to us. Black fungus disease is caused by a group of mold that we can call as mycomycin. It lives throughout the environment, but black fungus are mainly affect people who have prior health problem which lower the ability to fight against the sickness or disease. This infection starts from nose and spreads to the eyes and it may gradually paralyze the muscle around the pupil of eye and it will cause blindness. It can also affect the brain and cause meningitis and will lead to death. How it is related to COVID-19? The people who are recovering from COVID-19 after taking their medication has lower body immune system and cannot fight against the disease, especially persons who suffer from diabetes. Steroids is used in treatment of COVID-19 patients. Steroids has a higher blood sugar intake and this will promote the growth of fungus. Mucormycosis disease does not spread directly between humans. The symptoms of black fungus disease from human. We can see that someone knows blackening, watering, and they have dental and facial pain and coughing and also breathing difficulties. As of now, there are at least 9,000 people infected with this disease in India from usual number of 20 cases per year. Steroids is used in treatment of COVID-19 patients which can compromise the immune system. The patients are at risk prolonged stay in the hospital due to breathing difficulties. The oxygen and mechanical ventilator, if administered, can be an easy target for opportunities of fungus. What we can see is the patient is lack of oxygen and high of iron. One more, it provides an unsanitary condition. This ideal environment can promote the growth of infection. We can prevent our body from this black fungus disease. How to prevent? First, we have to avoid steroids in treatment for COVID-19 patients. Second, we have to maintain our blood sugar and also oral hygiene. For diagnosis, we use simple nose endoscopy, biopsy and MRI. We can also use radiographic findings to diagnose. By using radiographic findings, we can check the specification of paranasal sinus, fluid level and bone destruction. For treatment, we use intravenous antifungal medicine followed by oral antifungal. If not treated early, surgical intervention has to be done.
and it will lead to lost body parts.